This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. That's good. Adam Arpin is up next. I'm going to go try to move quick because I want to get as many of these guys' questions in as we can. Do you feel Wyndham Rotunda, otherwise known as Bray Wyatt, would be better served staying in wrestling, or could he successfully transition to Hollywood into the horror scene like Rob Zombie did? What do you think? you think he should continue to try to stay in wrestling or maybe make Hollywood his next destination? I get a feeling wrestling is his passion. I don't know about acting, uh, maybe, but I don't think that's something that that is on his forefront. Now he has a new family and new kids and uh, kind of starting over with the raising of the kids. And I'm sure that's taken a lot of his time and, and efforts. So he's got a lot of irons in the fire. I know this, he did a, an incredible job developing Bray Wyatt as a character. And if you can achieve something to the level that he has, there's probably nothing out there that he can't do if he decides he wants to. Eddie Prather's up next. He says, Hey Arn, I was just wondering who would you have on your list of guys in the wrestling business that should have done more in the wrestling business, but didn't maybe because of personal reasons or they just weren't booked. Right. Um, I always felt like Brad Armstrong was just one good promo away from breaking out. You know, he was, he was as good a worker as there was. He just could not round that curve and figure out who he was. Once that red light came on, he had to do a promo. Um, but he was man, really, really talented. Um, Brody Lee, God bless him, was on the verge of superstardom. Um, when he was with the Wyatts, he, I mean, if you knew what you were looking at, man, that guy made everything fly yeah. in that group. He was the excitement guy. And uh, I can't say enough good things about him. Uh, it's incredible. Um, those two names come to mind right off the top. Let's just go with that. Okay. Uh, the California dream JD Shea is up next. And he says, Arn, do you think the 20 minute time limit gimmick could work today in AEW, maybe with the TNT or the upcoming TBS titles? Yeah, it could work with the right guy, you know, holding the, uh, the championship and the, and the right, uh, challengers. It absolutely could. That TNT championship could be the perfect, you know, foil for that that type situation because it gets real exciting with about 18 minutes left in those 20 minute matches. If you got the right guy and you got the right challengers who got the gas tank, number one, have the experience number two and have the uh, ability to know, Hey man, that last three minutes, let's go for broke. There you go. And it, it'll still be exciting. All right. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.